and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, I'm going to be going over the best offers to do and the cheapest way to get the Lamar Jackson slash Chris Johnson. So, obviously, there's tons of offers, tons of packs, tons of players. I'm going to be going over all the best things you should probably be looking for in this promo now. If you guys know what I mean by that, when you go over to the store, you're going to see, you know, hundreds of offers. And not all of them, you know, if it's worth Like, is it a good value? Is it worth the Blitz Balls? I'm going to go over all the ones that I think you should do, which ones are worth it, which ones are decent, and which ones I think are just straight up ass now. I wouldn't bother touching. And then also throughout the video, I'm going to go over some of the conversions for Lamar Jackson and give you guys a rough estimate of pretty much how much it'll cost with real money, how much it'll cost with coins, and pretty much is it worth it to do it and the cheapest way to pretty much go about doing it. Anyways, so there's going to be a lot of things you have to do now. As of now, as of this time, Lamar Jackson is available. You can now, there is enough offers available to actually have gotten them already so i'm gonna go through all of that so if you guys were already doing it you probably some of you guys probably have lamar jackson already it is possible now lamar jackson's a beast now he does not have dashing or roaming that i would one i forget which one i like he does not have that which kind of sucks which kind of hurts his card a little bit if he had had that he would have been the glitchiest card in the game but he's still definitely a great quarterback definitely a much better throw than the other one go deep i mean the throw power is a little bit weaker but definitely usable now more so than he was before now Guys, we have a lot of math in this video, a lot, of, a lot of calculations, a lot of things to talk about. So stay tuned to the end so you don't miss anything. And before we get to this video, if you're new to the channel, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that on you, boys. Come, come join the family. We're already at 13.2k. We're growing super quick. Let's see if we can get to 14,000 by the end of this week. That'd be pretty crazy. And help us out in our goal to hitting 16, 17 by the end of Christmas. Comment down below. Uh, like I said in the last video, just on a scale of 1 to 10, what do you think the Blitz promo is rated? And give me a reason why. I kind of want to see what your, your, everyone's thoughts are on the Blitz promo. If you haven't already given this video a big thumbs up, can we get 500 likes in this video? You guys have been killing the like button during the Blitz promo. So let's keep it going. Now let's head on over to the store to show you guys the offers and give you guys an idea of what I think are the best offers. So let's start with the Blitz players. Actually, let's start with the bundles. So when it comes to bundles, these two bundles are decent. I'm, I've never been a fan of opening seasonal bundles like the actual promo bundle because it just it's just gonna give you the uh, pretty much the 2000 blitz it's kind of what you're looking for there so superstar bundle is the first bundle it is out right now for two more hours is it worth it no it does give you 5850 blitz bolts which in theory is a conversion of pretty much every mud point you spend you get one blitz bolt back but the packs are going to be profitable nothing from much superstars is like you can't really pull anything good from that anymore so there's nothing there that could like give you back a decent return on your value and this one's decent not gonna lie this one's probably like 60 70 bucks you get nine elite fantasy packs nine i mean nine elite player packs nine all pro packs and a 90 overall fantasy pack now i'm kind of intrigued by the 91 overall fantasy pack because these kickoff cards have been super expensive but i also think when this packs do when these packs drop the kickoff players will finally come down to value and you guys can finally probably pick up like khalil and power up and do all that stuff so stay tuned for that Next is the 24 gridiron bundle, guys. This is one of the best bundles, quite honestly, in Madden. In terms of the value here, this bundle usually goes for $100. It usually goes for about $100. But you're going to be getting this for about 20 bucks. So this is probably one of the best bundle offers that the Blitz is going to offer in general. So I'd recommend if you guys do plan to spend money, I'd definitely spend it on this one. These two so far are pretty good options right here. The Mud Hero Blitz Bundle, not good. Nothing really too great you can pull from Mud Heroes anymore. And at most, you can probably make a Mud Hero, but it's not really that worth it. It is 20 bucks though, so it's not the worst thing I've ever seen. Now, Legend Blitz Bundle, this is one of the best ones, again, because the eight Legend Fantasy Packs typically go for 12,000 Mud Points already. So that's already that price. Plus, you get the four uh, Fantasy like NFL 100 Packs, which is already a great value. And you get a 91 plus overall full Legend. So if you open this on a weekend, you can potentially get an LTV Legend. Or, well, I mean, there's no more legends for now, so I don't know if that counts on 500 players, but I know for, I know for sure that you're already getting your value back on the packs itself, so you're definitely getting a great bundle here. Plus, you get the Blitz Bolts, and that those Blitz Bolts is almost half what you need for Lamar Jackson. So, if you get one of these bundles and a few other things, you're probably pretty close to getting Lamar right off the bat. The NFL 100 Centennial Pack is pretty great, too. Like, 20 bucks, 18 bucks, 17 bucks, depending if you have EA access. And that gets you, I believe, one of the running backs. You can get like Eric Dickerson, Barry, Jim Brown, or Emmett Smith. But the issue with them only is that if everyone's getting these packs and stuff, it's probably not going to be as cheap as, I mean, as expensive as you assumed when you first bought the pack. 
So don't expect you're going to get like that full value back for it. But it's still a great one. Most of your Blitz Bundle, not a fan of it. Team of the Week Blitz Bundle. Decent, but not something I would probably do unless it's like a hero, but it is not. Now, the Series Redux Fantasy Pack is something that I'm actually kind of excited for. There's going to be like $8, $7, depending if you're via access. And you can get two of them. And this is a fantasy pack, so I think you might have a chance to get a, quite a few players. Now, I wonder if it's a fantasy pack where you can pick any Redux in the game. If that's the case, and even if they're not, I'll still do it. But if it is just like you get three guys and whatever it is you take, that's not a bad bundle or a bad pack. You can get Dion, Kittle, Aaron Donald, Clowney, Moss, and all those other guys. There's plenty more. Troy Palomalu. So definitely a lot of guys here that you could potentially make a really good uh, profit on and not even just guys for your team that you might want. So I think that's one of the better ones so far. We have quite a few that we really like here. Harvest Blitz Bundle, not a fan of that one either. Game Changer Clutch Blob. Game, game Changer Clutch Blitz Bundle. So you get one, four Game Changers, four Clutch, one Veteran, one Heavyweight, one Lom, one Flashback. If you really needed more Mud Points, I mean, if you really needed more Blitz Bolts and you were out of offers that you liked, I mean, this one's okay. I wouldn't recommend it. I think it's quite a few of the things I do before I do this one, but... Better than some of these seasonal promos. Now, if I had to pick, my favorite ones are the Series Redux Fantasy Pack, the Centennial Pack, the Legend Blitz Bundle, and probably the Gridiron Bundle. And a last, one of the last ones probably going to be the Elite All Pro out of the ones I actually like. Now, coming over to the Blitz Wolf players, John Ross is decent. I probably end up doing him. Um, Kyler Murray is okay, but he cannot get escape bars, so I probably won't do him. Well, his full card might be able to, but his rookie premiere couldn't. And we most people have his rookie premiere, so I'm out on that one. Not a fan of these guys right here. Jalen Smith is really good. Lane Johnson. That's about it. I think pretty much Lane Johnson and Jalen Smith are about the only two guys here that I'd recommend spending bolts on. And again, these also convert to master tickets too. So I'm going to go over that when we go over Lamar Jackson. Remember that you're really going to be looking at these master tickets when you're using your blitz bolts. And I'm going to go over how many blitz bolts you need for Lamar to come with. All right. So onto the blitz bolts packs. These are individual packs you buy so you don't have to actually get a bundle. And it won't cost you money because they're blitz bolts you use. So you could potentially use those blitz bolts you get from opening up bundles and then take them here and use them to get some packs. So you can probably get a little more packs than you initially thought. So Blitz Legend Fantasy Pack. 1,500. I think this is one of the better options. So you get seven master tickets back and it costs you about 1,500 bolts to get the pack. That's not bad considering is an 120k pack so it's kind of a decent return on your, your investment and even if you don't get great things it's still a good value in terms of what you usually pay for it anyways so i'm, I'm definitely blitz legend fans pack definitely one that i'll be looking at the blitz veteran pack i'm out on that one i think this one's uh, kind of ass blitz elite player pack that's a pretty good one for 900 not horrible not the best but definitely not the worst by any means 87 to 88 overall pack not really a fan these things are too cheap at this point although you do get the match ticket so again if you really desperately need the tickets you can always just go for it and they do have limits so you can get two of these three of these two of these and two of these so make sure you look at that the blitz all pro packs are 500 these are not horrible tickets are a little bit low but kind of coincides with a few other things blitz metropolis pack not really a fan of although it is 400 for two so you do get you're gonna get like okay so you get like eight for the price of similar it's all i mean it's all similar the NFL 100 Fantasy Pack, this one is decent. It has a decent value. You do get the same tickets as Legend Fantasy Pack. So if you want to open these around the days of NFL 100, you can stock up on those and save them. Blitz Clutch Packs, this one again is decent. You get six for 1,400 and you get four options for that. Blitz Most Fear Pack, not a fan of. Blitz Legend Fantasy Pack, again, still a fan of these, obviously. Blitz Game Changer Packs. This one is decent. Not my go-to, but if you guys like Game Changers, Blitz Team of the Week Pack. You could save this if there's a good LTD team of the week, but it is week 12, so I feel like, I, I wonder if these packs are only, I think you can only pull some from that week. Now, Blitz Heavyweight Pack, I mean, if you guys really need the master tickets, you can go for these, but I wouldn't say this is my go-to either, because I definitely don't really care for the return. Because just remember, although the ticket value might not always match up, you do get a return of value from that pack, so if the return of value on the pack's good, you can chalk it up as a W, but if the return of the pack, everybody's going to suck anyways, it's like you're kind of just doing it for the tickets. Blitz Elite Player Pack, another decent offer. Blitz Harvest Pack, not a fan. Blitz All Pro Pack is decent. And then they kind of repeat themselves here. Blitz Game Changer Pack, decent again. Blitz Flashback Pack, wouldn't do it, but if you really need the tickets, I guess you can go for it. Then we got the Gold Premium, the Rush Fantasy, Color Rush Fantasy Pack, and the Fantasy Pack for the NFL 100. So, it's kind of up to you guys what you guys want to do on that one. Now, I'm going to give you guys my top packs here that I would do. So, Legend Fantasy Packs I do, Blitz Elite Player Packs I do, All Pro Packs I do, NFL Fantasy Packs I do, and Clutch Packs. Probably the ones that I'd stick to. Game changers, maybe, depending on what you guys are feeling. 
are not horrible offers. They obviously also have the, the jerseys. If you're looking for the jerseys, you can also get some massive tickets back on that one. Really not that bad. There's quite a few things that you can make some money back on here. And some of these packs, if you're a pack opener, if you're a pack spender, money spender guy to begin with, remember that all these packs are discounted, so you might want to just pick them up now and hold on to them for like Legend Saturdays and some days when or whatever the new Legends come out, NFL 100 stuff. So you might want to save it for that if you are a money spender to begin with because you are going to be getting a value here. Now to go over Lamar Jackson, the cheapest way to get him. So pretty much you guys need these master tickets. This is what I was talking about before. You want to be getting the best value. So as of now at 8, you were, there were enough offers already, I believe, to have gotten the master tickets. And... If you just buy all the packs, let's say you get these two right here, you get 14 tickets, and you buy these two right here, you get another 12 tickets, you're already like at 26 tickets, you buy these, then you're at like 40 tickets, and then you come over here, you buy these players, another 16, another 6 and 17, so now, there's going to be different values on the tickets, so you cannot get tickets from these, you can only get Blitz Bolt, so, if you were going to spend money, quite honestly, one of your better bets would probably be to just buy like two of these bundles, now you can buy like the Elite All Pro, let's say, and the, um, Let's say the Legend of Blitz bundle that gives you a grand total of 12,000 plus 8,000. So you're gonna end up with like a little over 20,000, which is getting close to Lamar. Now, if you guys didn't already know, the overall conversion of bolts for Lamar is like 27,000 bolts, which sounds like a lot. But if you get your house rules done, your solos, and you get all your free bolts, you probably can get like three to 4K worth of free bolts, which does help the price a little bit. And then the rest is gonna be money spent. I've always told you guys this this problem was gonna be money spent. So you get the mass, you always gotta spend money. So looking at this right you pretty much have to spend 27,000 now that's if you get the best values remember if you get things that aren't great value because something's gonna be one or two less tickets per or one plus tickets if you get the better values you're gonna be fine so the 87s are okay you get six tickets per 1,200 now the 80 and the 90 which I believe all the 90s are the same price so right here if you times this by about three you end up with 3,400 right I mean, 3,600 you have to spend, but you do get back about 24 master tickets. So if you divide that in half, it'll be 12 tickets for like 1,700 or 1,800. So if you look at that on a ratio, the 90s are not too far apart. Again, divide that in half, 1,000 like 550 for about 8.5, and this one will be about 12. So it looks like the, the 87s might be slightly better. I could be a little wrong on that, but I, I think I got that one down for the most part. Now there also are the 88. So map rated. This one's a this one's okay. Not the best one. The 91s again are decent. As per usual, the higher you get, the typically the better the value gets. So the 91s, 4,300. You're getting 23. For this one, you times this one by two, you're getting 16 for 2,400. And then for 4,800, you're getting 32. So this one's probably a little bit better than this one specifically. I mean, in my opinion. No, no, I messed up the burrito one. So that's 3,400, so that's 16. So again, pretty similar. A lot of these things are quite close, but if you guys don't already know, the best value is going to be the 92s. Now, I feel like that was common knowledge. I want, I didn't really want to talk about those too much because I already knew what the best value was. It's going to be the 92s, like Lane Johnson. 33 tickets for 6,000. I mean, we kind of already assumed that because if you times this by three, right? If you times this by three, it's going to be 3,000, I mean, 6,900 for 33 tickets. Him right there is 6,000 for 33 tickets. So Lane Johnson and Dalvin Cook are going to be the best values. Oh, and Justin Reed. They're going to be the best values in terms of tickets. So if you're going to be getting players, you might want to wait for these three. You plan to just pick them up. If you get all three of them, it'll cost you 18,000. And Lamar's only 125, so you'll almost be there already. And then obviously to fill up the rest, what I'd recommend doing is going to the Blitz Packs. Now, if you're going to do Blitz Packs, like I said, the ones I recommend you do, the best value, the best value, I don't want to just do best values for tickets. I also want to do best values with what you're going to get back, right? So, although you mentioned 1,500 packs on Legend Fantasy, 1,000 bolts on a Legend Fantasy pack, you do get a pretty decent return on the pack, being that's one of the best packs in the game. So, you definitely want to do these two. I'd recommend you do these two, then probably do three Elite Player packs, and then maybe do a, the all five All Pro packs, and then you can go knock out some more Legend Fantasy packs. I'd recommend you pretty much stick to that, like those lines of packs I've recommended before. You get the 92 over place. The 92 you can still sell back. You know, it's not like that's the one thing with this promo. Although you might spend $200, it's not like you just burn it and that's all you get, Lamar. You get a lot, you gotta get it all back in coins. So the blitz isn't exactly horrible. We do have to give cash up front, you'll never see again. But you do get a lot of things back in coins, especially the blitz. Um, the blitz bolts that you're gonna be using, you do get back in mass tickets, which you can get with Lamar, and then you end up with a lot, you're gonna end up with a ton of coins if you do all this. Definitely a lot of coins to be made. But I think that pretty much wraps up everything. I mean, pretty much these are the conversions right here. So Lamar. We'll come out to about 27,000 bolts, which on a mutt point ratio, like 
if we're talking like how much money do you have to spend it's gonna come out to about 200 to 220 dollars just to get lamar jackson if you're going currency wise now that's not counting the free house stuff you get the other free stuff you get the most proper efficient conversion ratio but it's going to be around 200 dollars rough estimate of what it'll cost to get lamar but again you do get back a ton of coins so it's not like it's just 200 dollars burnt just for a player you're gonna get a lot of coins back so you're able to get other things with that too lamar essentially will be not as price cost of course as you like cost efficient as you think but he also won't be the worst way he also won't be the worst now one thing to remember is that what if you did it straight up with coins right what if you straight up did all the offers with coins and you went to the pack right here and you bought this 35 uh 35,000 you do get back let's see how many blitz bolts you get back for this 300 blitz bolts so if you did the math on this and you bought you bought straight packs and you got exactly 27,000 whatever for lamar it would cost you a little over 3 million coins to get lamar jackson now that might sound crazy but you have to remember that lamar jackson you first off can sell them so if you sell them for like 1.5 mil so you're you're like a deficit of 1.5 mil now where does that come from if you open up all these packs to get 27 you're gonna be able to open like let's see what's 10 like 100 of these packs so you're gonna be end up with 100 packs worth of value so if you sell back everything you get you have to factor that in right it might be it's 3 million for lamar if you just do it this way but you can't sell back everything you get so you might end up coming close to breaking even probably not you're probably gonna lose a little bit but that is one of the ways to do it i don't recommend going that route i think i'd rather go the money spent route than waste three million coins and potential of getting something but yeah, this video has been really long i hope this helps you guys out with the best offers to do how to convert lamar kind of what to hope for now there's cj2k cj2k is gonna cost slightly more probably more like 240 dollars and maybe more like 3.6 million coins but that is about for the video guys thank you so much for watching if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button turn that notification bell boys for all your blitz needs and all your madden needs make sure to hit that subscribe button comment down below your rating of the blitz promo and give me a reason why one to ten and also make sure to smash the like button can we get 500 likes in this video guys thank you so much for watching i'm out see you guys next video peace